Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a knowledge article within Salesforce. So knowledge is a part of the service console or I guess the service package within Salesforce. It's a way for you to create FAQ blog article types that are hosted within Salesforce that can be external facing for your customers or it can be for your internal team to understand how to use the features of your product they are selling or maybe the features of your Salesforce org. There are a few things that we need to check before we get into creating the knowledge article. So let's go ahead and go into setup. One thing I did do before creating this tutorial or starting this tutorial is I set up knowledge and that's just a couple of quick buttons just saying, hey, I want to have this person be the user for the knowledge articles. I want to have this person be another user for them. Also creating the different, the different data types like the different article types that you'll have within your org. I am gonna to go to users and just make sure that my user is enabled for knowledge because it is an extra feature. So I'm gonna to go to my name here and then I wanna make sure over here you can see knowledge user. Maybe that's, I can zoom in also for you guys. Uh, you can see knowledge user right here is checked. So I can go ahead and create knowledge articles and publish knowledge articles likely publish articles. That's another feature that I'll have to make sure that I have access to. One thing about knowledge is that it is an extra feature license. So it's an extra feature that you'll have to pay for in addition to your regular Salesforce org. Also, knowledge users are only the people that are creating and publishing and editing these articles. People can access knowledge articles that don't have a knowledge user license. The only person that needs to have a knowledge user license are those that are creating, editing, publishing, etc. All right, so let's go jump back into this. I'm gonna zoom out um, and I can go into knowledge right here or I can go up to the three by three and search for knowledge and then click on it. It'll take me to the exact same place. All right, we don't have any knowledge articles that have been created yet. So I'm gonna hit new article and then I'm gonna create the knowledge article essentially. So I could create a how to write a knowledge article, very uh, creative of me. All right, and now that the URL name is there, I am going to start creating the article details. So it has a question and answer. So I'm just going to have the question be the same as the title. And then quickly write an answer here. All right. Now that is there and then we can choose the different properties. We could select that it's visible to customer, partner, visible in the knowledge base. We could check all of those to see who it will be visible to, if it's visible to public, to people who are partners of our company, or if it's just visible to the people that are in our company. I am going to hit save here. All right, and it looks like we have created that knowledge article. I wanna see what status it is in. So if it is published or if it is not, so it does not look like it has been published quite yet. So what I can do, as you can see up here, it's draft status. So up here, I'm going to hit publish. I can publish now or schedule a publication. So this would be great if you create knowledge articles on like, your product and you want to publish them like a blog post, you would be able to do that. I am just gonna select publish now. And there we go, we have that article published. We are able to come in and edit it, so it'll move it back to draft, and then you'll be able to publish it again. You can archive it if maybe this article goes out of date. And if you need to, you could go ahead and change it to be visible to customer and partner and change those little details. You can also see over here if the article is helpful, which allows the users to provide feedback if this was helpful or not, and then you can update this as you see fit. That is a quick tutorial on how to create a knowledge article. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like. I'm looking to create more Salesforce service tutorials in the future here. 
for this year or so. If you want to see more of that, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for joining me. You can check out the courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at emilycallmba. You can check out the blog at salesforceemily.com. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.